What's up, Prize Fight fans? I'm Brian Tong, and this is a battle between two of the top premium Ultrabooks on the market. It's a Prize Fight punch out between the new Samsung Series 9 and the new kit on the block, the Vizio Thin and Light CT14A2. Now, our judges for this fight are senior editor Dan, the man Ackerman, senior associate editor Scott, it's go time Stein, and Brian, can't go wrong, Tong. Now, we'll take all three judges' blind scores and average them out to the nearest tenth each round. The final prize fight score will be an average of all rounds using the same system. Let's get this party started. Round one is designed. Samsung has really defined the Series 9, and it's come into its own with a smaller footprint and a sleeker, thinner design from previous generations that no longer reminds you of a MacBook Air. Its solid aluminum body weighs in at 2.6 pounds with an improved, smoother hinge for its 13-inch screen with a slimmer bezel. Now, this feels smaller than some of the 12-inch laptops we've seen, and it's hands down the best-looking Ultrabook on the market. Now, Vizio is known for their TV sets, but their first entry into the laptop world is a fresh take on the category. The CT14 has a thicker body with its 14-inch screen, but it brings a modern sense of design and a rubberized base with a sturdy feel. For a first entry, Vizio has held its own for original design, but it's still just not eye-popping enough in the Ultrabook world. Samsung takes this round with the perfect five, and Vizio gets a four. Next round is features. The new Series 9 includes two USB ports, which is standard, but if you don't love dongles, get used to it with this guy for Ethernet, monitor out, and mini HDMI. Now, I'm a big fan of its matte finish display, but two things it has that Vizio doesn't is its backlit keyboard with its subtle green glow and an SD card slot on the side. Now, the Vizio CT14 has two USB ports and includes a full-size HDMI port, but it requires a dongle for Ethernet that will take up one of your USBs. Plus, the lack of an SD card slot is a bummer. But the biggest difference here is that Vizio packs this guy with 256 gigs of solid-state drive storage, which is beast and twice the amount of the Samsung Series 9. Now, this round's a tricky call, but Vizio gets the edge with 3.3 to 3 with its hard drive space. So after two rounds, Samsung has a slight lead. Round three is performance. In our standard configurations, Samsung brings a 1.7 gigahertz Core i5 processor to the table, and Vizio comes to this fight with a 1.9 gigahertz Core i7 processor. The results of our benchmark tests show that Vizio was simply a bit faster, outperforming Samsung in the multimedia multitasking test, doing it again in our Adobe Photoshop CS5 image processing test, and finally, topping the Series 9 in the iTunes encoding test as well. Vizio can stand proud here with a solid 4, and Samsung gets a 3. Next round is battery life. The battery juice your laptop brings is one of the most important deciding factors, and when we put these two through our video playback battery drain test, the results speak for themselves. Samsung's new Series 9 brings the best battery life we've seen on a recent Ultrabook at close to seven hours just behind the MacBook Air, and Vizio, on the other hand, is bringing just over four hours, and that's with a solid state drive. Yikes. Now, Samsung delivers a blow with another perfect five, and Vizio gets a 2.7. So after averaging four rounds, Samsung still leads by half a point. Coming up, the final round that decides it all is value. Premium Ultrabooks with solid state drives just won't come cheap, and at $1299 MSRP, the Samsung Series 9 is more affordable than the previous model, and it's a quality laptop, but there's an argument to be made here that you can't make a laptop that's just about as good as some of your competition and then price it even higher. Now, the Vizio CT14A2 retails for $1199, which is just a bit less expensive, and it does cut some features out, but we'd rather pay less for a version with less solid state drive space. Now, neither Ultrabook stands out here, and we're calling this final round a tie at three. So let's average out all five rounds, and in a prize fight where both Ultrabooks took two rounds, it was Samsung's two perfect rounds that made all the difference, and the new Series 9 takes this battle 3.8 to 3.4 and is your prize fight winner. I'm Brian Tong. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you guys next time on another prize fight. Woo